What's going on everybody and welcome to the video. In this one, we are talking about Mullen again. We've got some pretty big information, short interest stuff. Some analysts have set some pretty crazy price targets, upwards of 7,000%. So we're gonna go ahead and just get straight into the video. But before we do that, I'll ask if you enjoy the channel, that you do subscribe and you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So right now, Mullen is trading for just below 39 cents. Coming a little bit up on the day, just looking on Google Finance, we are up 2.57% today. But there's a massive setup right now that we're looking at on Mullen. Let's go ahead and kind of talk about this. What Mullen could do if this breaks out like it did in 2020, this is Mullen in 2020 where my cursor is, you know, it continued to fall down. And this made a huge price from about $2 all the way up to over $20 a share, okay? Pretty big move. And just looking at this catalyst, I mean, we're looking at 38 cents right now, 39 cents. Seeing if this happens, if it were to play out in perfect world, hypothetically, could go up to 18, but I don't like setting any exact price targets on something. You know, I'm just looking at what other people are presenting to us and giving you that information as well. So do with this as you wish. But to show you kind of that on Weeble, here is Mullen right now, just looking at the stock on the daily charts, you know, trading at 38 cents. And here is it back in 2020 when I did this, you know, that downtrend, that downtrend, and then huge, massive uptrend all the way up to $20.08. So this is what we could potentially see. Remember, this is a span of the kind of per se squeeze went from about the middle beginning of June of 2020 all the way until August. Okay, it was about a two month time. So keep that in mind, you know, this short squeeze very likely won't just be a one day thing. You know, a lot of people have seen this price trend, you know, up 93% in the past few days. A lot of people are seeing this and thinking, is a squeeze over or whatever ever? And I don't think that's the case by any means. You know, right now we're sitting at a market cap of 639 million. And to kind of give you a little base look, there's an article right now saying, is this, Na is this NASDAQ minnow Mullen the next Tesla? And it kind of just goes in and talk about the company. But one thing I will notice and point out is social media data, including posts from Reddit and Twitter, shows discussion about Mullen has increased by more than 6,000% in the past three months. You know, just taking some key highlights from this article a little bit more, aside from the rise prominence on social media, 2023 looks to be the biggest year yet for Mullen. So let's go ahead and show you three commercial product launches are stated for 2023. Mullen's commercial EV lineup, the Class 1 through 3 cargo vans, the cab chassis, Chase's offerings, and Bollinger Motors Class 4 through 6 Chase's products. In November, Mullen also did announce the acquisition of a manufacturing facility in Indiana. So pretty big, used to be build uh, General Motors Hummers. And then unlike other EV manufacturers, all Mullen's manufacturing operations are based in the United States, which is a very good sign. Let's go ahead and show you some more about Mullen. What's going on right now? Mullen Automotive has a short squeeze brewing, but don't count on it just yet. There are a number of risks and catalysts on the horizon that promise to bring volatility. And for Mullen Automotive, it all comes down to production and if it will begin. So as we know, there's a lot of bears, you know, that's why the short interest is so high. But for the bears, they're probably looking at the company's incredibly high share count, the high flow percentage, and the company's need for capital and the plans to start production and thinking about if the company is really going to do it. But then there's the bulls. They're reading the news, watching the story develop positively, and seeing revenue just around the corner. In between the company itself, the story is developing in a very positive manner. Production is at hand and more than a year ahead of schedule, but it's time to see some more proof, which does seem like right now is the time for Mullen to begin showing this proof. You know, all the acceleration started last summer, whenever they got Bollinger Motors, and then the ELMS assets, the rights of iGo, gaining its major partner dealer, follow up on order 6,000 vehicles, planning predict begin production this quarter, which is kind of why right now is a very big time. Volume in Mullen has went through the roof for the first week of January and may continue to pick up as we see some approach to these major milestones. Volume is what generally makes a stock go up in price, you know, more buying pressure, more volume, basic supply and demand. This could be a very good thing for Mullen. Showing you a little bit more, Mullen Automotive has three potential catalysts coming up in quick succession. The annual report, the Ser Series D preferred share offering, and shareholder meeting, which is going to be very big. This report is due on January 14th, which is a pretty big date, originally delayed from December 30th. But the report is very important. Investors want to know how much capital the company does have to see if they can fund what they're doing and how much more may be needed. But news on production is what's going to be the very biggest thing. The stock is forming a clear bottom at 25 cents to 36 cents range, but could easily turn into a reversal and looking at a little bit more of price targets per se. Assuming the news is good, the stock could retest 60 cents in a few days or less. Very good information. Now I want to show you this. This article, pretty insane. Pretty insane. 
Mullen stock is predicted to soar 7,000% this year. Now, this is just looking at a few things. You know, this I'll show you the full catalyst in a second, but in a recent case study, we've seen that analysts are predicting Mullen stock to pursue to surge more than 7,000% by the end of the year means approximately $23 per share. So I'll show you this website, stockanalysis.com. It's got the 24.15 high, 23.23 low, 23.46 average, you know, about 6,000% returns now just because the stock price has increased a little bit from the past few days that the article was made. But here is Mullen has decreased 92.33% the past year and price targets may not have had, had the time to catch up. So keep that in mind. I don't want this to come off as misleading. You know, these price targets are still a very good thing. But as far as I can tell, these are from 2021. But keep that in mind. I do think that these price levels are pretty doable, especially in the sense of a squeeze or, you know, long-term Mullen continues to get that capital it needs, uses it effectively, gets good production, people love the vehicles, and so forth. But... I wanted to point that out there because I'm sure you maybe have seen this article. It came out a few days ago, but I wanted to point that out there. I'm not trying to be a bear. I just want you to have all the information so that you're not misled or anything like that. But to show you lastly about what's going on with Mullen, Newgate Motor Group, Ireland, going to be very big. Okay, coming soon, Mullen to this vehicle dealership, looking very good right now. The dealership currently sells Mercedes, Kia, all these brands looking at very good things. So just expanding Mullen is going to be a very good thing for this company. But everybody, that's going to wrap it up for this video. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Thank you again. Check the links down below for free stocks, free money. Get it while you can. And I will see you in the next video.